There are many ways to do a self-portrait of yourself, of your body, without doing the complete figure. And that's what we're going to do this week. We're going to show who we are in a creative way by depicting some part of our body, some shape of our body, um, not the whole body, not the whole face. We're going to get creative. We're going to be inspired by Lucita Hurtado, who is a Venezuelan um, painter, who was a muse of Man Ray and, a, and hung out with all the surrealists, was an amazing surrealist painter but didn't really get famous until her 90s. She recently died at 99. And she did two series um, of work um, about the body. Um, one was called I Am, and it's these amazing amazing um, paintings where she's looking down, and she, she has a lot of symbolism in her work, like surrealists, like apples and fruit and patterns. Um, and then she did one also called Body Landscapes, where her body actually became a landscape. So this is one type of inspiration. You can imagine what different perspective of your body could you show. I love this landscape. I love this. You could do a surrealist work. Um, but a lot of women do this. Um, Henny Alton is a contemporary painter, and she does these really amazing, you know, could you use your hands holding something that you love, doing something that you love. You know, I love this painting. Um, you could do something about applying makeup, um, your clothing um, that defines your style jewelry that defines you. I love this perspective. Maybe your, um, yeah, your glasses, if you have signature glasses. Um, I love this, that the shadow is hiding the top part. These are such smart paintings, dude. They're just gorgeous and so smart. Um, so these are all just to kind of trigger some ideas in you. Um, this is um, Joan Brown. I believe she was like an 80s, 70s, 80s painter, but this is kind of great. Just a hint of her hanging off a chair. So if those of you who like to do interior paintings, maybe you have someone shoot you in your chair from behind. Um, Natalia Gonzalez Martin is a contemporary painter. She has these amazing, also there's a, there's a bit of surrealism, even though they're real things, there's kind of a vibe that these are not really the way things are, um, and it matters the symbols she's inserting, these veils and the figs and um, this cloth with her lipstick on it. Um, Christina Ramberg was a 60s kind of, she dealt with sexual, there's like kind of bondage -y looking things. Maybe you want to hint at, you know, a private aspect of your life in some way that's kind of veiled. Um, but yeah, these were of their time, very much about kind of this idea of body art that was happening in the 60s and 70s. Um, Julie Curtis is a contemporary, and I placed her right after Christina Ramberg, because I think she takes a lot from that kind of era. Um, and very highly stylized hair. I love this like Wizard of Oz kind of vibe. A lot of them use these like surrealist kind of tropes, but you'll notice it's a lot of women doing this because I think there's a lot of the idea of you don't see the face of women. Um, women have to tell their stories in a different way. They have to remove the things that men care about it's traditionally in nudes and depictions of women and like reframe it. So think about that when you're thinking like what what is, you know, what am I known for? What do I want to be known as? This is Sung Ah Pig. Um, these are just gorgeous. Just another style. More like Egon Shile. But again, from looking down, um, I love these are huge. Look at the scale. They're just amazing. Um, is there something that defines you? Is there an article of clothing or jewelry? A movement, a gesture you always make, a way you sit? Are you always in the bathtub? Are you always in the kitchen? Do you play a musical instrument that defines you? Um, Alice Tippett is, I know that anyone's taken the class before I've seen these because she just plays with the human body in the most amazing way. So maybe you want to sketch, think about what part of you want to show and then sketch out some strange, you know, very, um, these are all surreal, surrealist again, um, vibe to them. Maybe you want to play with this, make something very graphic, something really smart. Uh, Alice Tippett's work is like the smartest out there, I think, like as far as like this amazing depiction of a breast. Um, yeah, sorry to repeat. But yeah, I just think they're so beautiful and so simple, but so hard to do. So, so hard to do. Um, but those of you that like a clean line in your painting and like graphics, this might be something for you to think about. Um, maybe just flip through your own images in your in your phone and see what comes up and where you could crop it in. Ellen Altfuss does these insanely. She spend a year on one painting with the same model coming in every day and just do a tiny, tiny slice of a human body. 
but that could be of interesting to you too. Maybe you want to paint just your kneecap. So this is what we'll be doing tomorrow. So think of what you want to be doing to depict yourself in this kind of surrealist way. Okay, bye.